Hey YouTube, Roblox 1963 here with an uh, EDC, my everyday carry vid. I uh, haven't done one of these yet. Um, uh, as you can see here, the bare essentials. Um, I have my wallet, which is thicker than some girls' asses, but you know, it is what it is. A man, you know, you gotta carry, you gotta carry certain criteria, driver's license, CCW license, all that. Um, I got my HTC Evo, and as you can see by the background, see the Batman back there. That's probably one of the best pictures I've ever seen, Batman. But yeah, that's my Evo. Uh. Keys can't really do anything without these. Uh, my key for my uh, 2008 uh, Jeep Commander, all black. I'll do a video on that one day, probably when it's sunny out in Toledo, Ohio. It's been raining a lot lately, so you know, is what it. Oh, you gotta have a bottle opener. You gotta have a, a beer bottle opener. It's an essential. Every man should have one. Uh, got this uh, Kenneth Cole watch. Um, I don't wear this every day, but this is my favorite watch. I wear it a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it, I've had it for three and a half years, and it has come in handy many a day. <laughs> Actually, if you want to be technical, I wore this watch for like six months and it didn't work because I didn't put a battery in there. I just put the watch on like an idiot and it didn't work. So I finally went and got a battery and works fine. Uh, I'm think, oh yeah, this will probably be changed out within a couple weeks because I am getting a, uh, a G-Shock. Uh, pretty soon, probably next week. Um, I seen one on eBay for 44 bucks, so I'll probably get that. Cause you know I really can't wear this to work. I'm a truck driver, so I mean you know watches in my wrist and my hands get banged up a lot. So I probably won't be wearing this. Um, this will probably be like a going out watch or something like that. Uh, this I don't know if you can see that. Oh, actually I'm in my new gun room that I made in my basement. Uh, I'll probably be doing a bit video on this probably tonight. Um, but yeah, this is my uh, Smith & Wesson. This is my Smith & Wesson. Just a regular HRT knife. Regular, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I use it a lot. As you can see from the, from the scarring and stuff like that. I sharpen it myself. And it's a pretty good knife. It serves its purpose, does what it needs to do. I use it all the time around the house and everything. So yeah, this is my my HRT. I did buy a, a new Smith and Wesson. I kinda like Smith and Wesson. I don't see a lot of people with Smith and Wesson knife, but I bought this one. Let me take these gloves off. Might be a little too dark. Hands a little ashy, don't don't mind the hands. Uh Bought this one from uh, our surplus store. Pretty long knife, long blade, but I don't really know if I can carry this because the blade might be longer than Ohio requires or well, demands that you have. But uh, don't care. So yeah, I bought that. That was I got a steal on that. I got a got a nice little deal on that. Um, as you can see, the the piece there is this stumps, as as people might say. Uh, this is the Glock 23 in a Galco inside the waistband holster, and I'm gonna be truthful. I really don't wear this. I wear it sometimes. Uh, but I really don't wear it. I try to. It's just kind of high, as you can see. From this is your belt. 
this is your belt right here and this is this is how much of the gun is actually sticking up right there that's cool to some but for me eh, uh, I rather deal with I, I the cheapest holster I got is probably the best holster when it comes to concealing this gun and I'm gonna show it to you right now just a minute Uncle Mike's Uncle Mike's you see this this thing cost me 20 bucks Uncle Mike's in the waistband holster 20 bucks now watch this my belt is here so so that's my belt what's on top of my finger right here that's how much of the gun sticks up so I wear this the majority of the time the majority of the time and I, I am not fibbing at all but I do wear this the majority of the time 20 bucks Uncle Mike's can you beat that? think not but this I mean this is a sweet I have uh, the army channel uh, Pete uh, goes on about these he says he's gonna sell these on his website uh, these are sweet but it tears the finish off. it tears the finish the inside tears the finish off the block and you know what this is loaded I carry this so let's take that out And set those over there. So when you constantly taking putting it in, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out, the finish comes off. Now on the on the Gen 4 Glocks, I don't think that happens because it's a, a matte finish and this is more of a shinier finish to these, but I will never part with my Gen 3 Glock RTF2 I, I, I probably will never part with this this is my baby I love it to death uh yeah so this is my EDC this is what I wear try to at least on a consistent basis um, I want to get another holster. I don't know what holster yet. Um, I try to carry my XDM. Uh, I have that my uh, three with the three point eight inch barrel. Um, I wear that mostly in the winter time. I'm not a big dude, but I'm good size, two ten, five eleven. You know, so trying to hold on to trying to trying to conceal that the 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 end the the. the this part of the XDM is kind of challenging because it sticks out a little further than what what it needs to. Um, but yes, like I said, that's my, my most accurate gun. I'd never get rid of that one either. That was my first gun I ever purchased. Um, as you can see in the background, this is my SOG uh, Jungle Primitive. Jungle Primitive. You can actually see it on the other side where it says it. Jungle Primitive. Love this knife. Love it. I have uh, two more machetes or whatever. But you, know, you don't need to see that. You've seen one machete, you've seen them all, right? But yeah, that's my my EDC. Um, feel free to subscribe, rate, do whatever you need to. Um, more vids to come. Um, you can get a peek, a quick glance at my at my my room. Yep, and I'm back. Quick view. 
with the room. Let me back up a little bit. I'm gonna put my safe over there. It's gonna be where my safe goes. I just built the desk today. This right here is the shield of my fraternity that I'm in. Iota Phi Theta. But yeah, this is just uh, a, a work in progress right now. Work in progress. And probably in the coming weeks, I'll be doing more and adding more. My wife got that when she was in Iraq. She was an MP in Iraq. She worked with a Iraqi police officer, and he gave that to her. I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of wondering what I'm gonna put in that corner right there. I don't really know. Um, right here is the little corner where I can store. Where I can store things, you know how it is. Got my my Glock stuff right there. Targets, my AR tool, my little uh, clamp cleaning kit, just miscellaneous tools. My AR tool, just is for, just for storage that I put stuff in. Oh, my knives right there. That's about it. But I will be paint, painting that wall. I just put I just put the dry lock on there. I'll um, we'll be doing a lot more to it in the coming weeks. To, um, coming up, get some more money. Balling on a budget, you know that's 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 my that's my uh, motto really. Balling on a budget. Feel free to use when, at your convenience. And this is Roadblock 1963. Out.